Clouds will be moving in, though. Let's bring in first alert meteorologist Mary Kate Gleis. Oh, Mother Nature played so nice for us today. Rain was yesterday. Clouds come in tonight, covering out that clear sky for us to enjoy the eclipse. I was walking down Michigan Avenue this afternoon during it, and boy, everybody just stopped in their tracks, sat down, had the glasses on, and they were just talking to complete strangers, kind of taking it all in. Very nice. So we're going to be dry for the next two days, and then a big rain event coming. This could arrive Wednesday night, lasting three. Through Thursday and a few showers may linger into Friday, especially for northwest Indiana. It is so mild, 69 degrees. Southwest winds, they're pretty gusty. We have a sustained wind now at 14 miles per hour, but the winds are gusting to 26 miles per hour. Gary, Valparaiso, Laporte, winds to 28 for you in McHenry. That just keeps pulling that milder air mass in our direction. Add to that all the sunshine, sun angle, of course, getting higher this time of year, and high pressure is in place. So all those elements together, that is the reason why we had soaring temperatures today. And it'll be relatively mild tonight. 50 degrees will be our overnight low. We have a front that's going to be coming through. That's why I'm calling for those extra clouds to come in. No rain tacked onto that front. But what it will do is kind of open the door for a westerly breeze during the day tomorrow. That's dry air too. So that's why we're not expecting rain. But you may have some scattered clouds passing through from time to time. And temperatures even on the other side of the front will be above average with highs in the 60s for us. Normal highs about 56 degrees. So we'll be at 66 Valparaiso, 62 in the loop, 67 Joliet. So a shade cooler today, but still warmer than average. Middle 60s in Ottawa and about 63 in DeKalb. Now here's what we're expecting. Two dry days as weak high pressure kind of settles overhead for Tuesday and half of Wednesday. Then we turn mostly cloudy with rain arriving Wednesday night. Thursday looks to be our washout with scattered showers likely a 70 to 80 percent chance of rain and a few leftover scattered showers come Friday. So here's a good look at future cast. Here's the reason we're so warm. The arrows coming from the southwest, that tells us where the winds are coming from. So it's pulling that mild air over us this evening. That front comes through with a few clouds, but we're dry and quiet through Wednesday. Then Wednesday night, we start watching moisture headed in our direction. It kind of spreads across the area Thursday. Good coverage of rain for us during the day and into the evening on Thursday. Got to have that umbrella handy for your commutes on Thursday or whatever you have planned. Then notice how once that front comes through we start pulling those winds northwesterly they start coming across the lake and what that's going to do is generate some lake enhanced clouds and rain showers here especially for Indiana lower Michigan and a few leftover showers for Chicago as well before the whole system departs and as far as rain amounts go Wednesday night through Friday noon we could see an inch or two especially down to the south of I-80 because that's where we're going to have a lot of that moisture sitting and kind of repeating in the same places. So getting wet here starting Wednesday night through the front half of Friday. But again, Mother Nature's so nice. Look how she clears all that out. Time for your weekend. 65 Saturday, 75 Sunday. Both days, though, I want to mention will be cooler lakeside. Uh, After that long winter, the water's right. so incredibly sure. cold. Right. It takes forever to warm it up. Yes. It's only 44 degrees if you <laughs> jump in. <laughs> we'll be doing that, but that weekend sure looks good. Sure looks mm. good. And for the rest of us, it'll be good. Yes. Yeah. And, the, the lake. and the sun just yeah. breaks good. Sounds good. Thanks, Mary Kay. <laughs>